I have a quick tip for you on squaring up large blocks. So for this tip, you're gonna use freezer paper. Now freezer paper has been around for 100 years. Farmers everywhere use it to wrap their uh, meat in it, but you don't see it used very often, and there was a time that they stopped making it. But you're gonna find it pretty readily in your grocery store now. So here's the idea. So here we've got an applique block. It's supposed to finish to 16 and a half inches, but I don't have a 16 and a half inch ruler. I have a 15 inch ruler, and then I could also use a couple of additional rulers along with it. So here's my six and a half inch ruler. And if I line that up and then add the extra wide ruler to it, that can get me to my 16 and a half inches. And then of course I'd have to turn it and go the other way, trying to center up my applique design inside of the square the whole time. Another way to do it is to buy a rather expensive 20 and a half inch wide ruler. You can buy a square ruler that's 20 and a half inches. It's a fabulous ruler and it's about 50 to $60. So if you don't have the extra funds to buy the extra large ruler, this technique uses freezer paper, which is really inexpensive. And just, and this is a nine and a half inch square ruler. I'm gonna take the freezer paper. I just cut myself off a chunk and I folded it nice and neat. So now I have it folded to half the size. Using my nine and a half inch square ruler, I'm gonna line up the two folded edges at eight and a quarter inches because eight and a quarter plus eight and a quarter is 16 and a half inches, which is the size I need. Oops, I moved a little bit. Stay still. And then because I like to use the paper as registration marks on my quilt also, I'm gonna add a couple of diagonal folds to it. So now I have a 16 and a half inch square of freezer paper. I can go to my applique block Freezer paper has a waxy side, which is the shiny side, and then the paper side, which is the dull side. And I'm gonna line it up, centering up my block underneath the freezer paper. Then I'm gonna press the freezer paper down. That waxy side is actually gonna melt a little bit of that wax so that the wax will hold on to the applique piece. Now we come back to our cutting surface with the freezer paper down on my block. I can now line up the edge of my ruler on top of the edge of the freezer paper, trim, and go all the way around the block, trimming it off to the size that I need, two more sides. That was just a little smidge of a side here. Peel off the freezer paper. And voila, my block is all squared to the 16 and a half inches that we need for the Learn to Quilt Quilt. Thanks for watching. Make sure you subscribe to our channel. We wouldn't want you to miss a single show. Please share us with your friends and leave a comment. We would really love to hear from you.